Mr. Sean here. Man, I tell you. So there it is. There's the first mangrove of the day right there. Nice, nice 12 incher. That's what he looks like. Man, look at that. Yep. Oh, 11 and a half. There, this is a nice fish. Holy cow, let's get him in. Holy smoles, there you go. We've been waiting for a long time for Oh, he's only about 13 inches, but he's still a nice mangrove. I mean, hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today is October 6th. It's a Wednesday. We're at the Skyway Bridge. We're going after, guess what? Mangrove snapper, yep. And you know I always try for grouper. I got some pinfish and I got some greenbacks, and that's what we're going to try for today. Anyways, there's a truck going by. Always oh, noisy here, but but it's great. That's looking south. That's the Gulf right that way. And here are the bumpers right here. The tide's coming in, and it should switch any time. It's kind of windy out today. It, it's about 12 knots out here and uh, a little bit breezy. I made it out here going about eight miles an hour and I came from uh, Maximo boat ramp that way and I just follow the uh, uh, right by the pier and come in between the pier and follow the columns and it breaks the waves because there's there's white caps out there right now. But anyways, I got uh, I got greenbacks from uh, hooked up live baits right here. Look at these guys right here. Let's let's check these guys out. Man, they're looking good. They're really looking good today. Look at that. Look at that. Holy smolies. Look at these guys. They're really lively. <laughs> That's what we like. Look at that. They're really looking good today. Man, I tell you. And uh, got some pinfish here too. I got them on my bubbler right here. Let's see if we can get some of these guys out of here. My net barely makes it in there. Let's just see. Look, come on, guys. Let's get out of there. There's a, there's a nice looking pinfish. There's a nice looking pinfish right there. Perfect size bait. Anyways, I got a dozen of them from Hooked Up Live Baits and got the greenbacks going. And I cut up a bunch of chum here. These are uh, these are uh, frozen sardines, and uh, I cut them up earlier. And um, I'm just going to be tossing them out here for chum. Look at I'm I'm already far away. The tide is still pushing out. It was supposed to turn around uh, about close to eight o'clock, and it's almost eight right now. It switches at around eight eight thirty, and it'll switch again at two. So we're going to try the um, the tide change. See what we got. And like I always said, fishing the tide changes is the best advice I could give anybody about fishing. And it doesn't matter whether it's incoming or outgoing. It all depends what. I mean, you can, if you're going for snook or something, I like to have an outgoing tide if I'm in Cockroach Bay. I kind of like an incoming tide into the bollards. I, I think it's just better fishing. The, that's my opinion. And the columns always produce the bigger mangroves the, the, that I've got. And a lot, a, lot of, a lot of fish are surfacing out here. Look at that. Now I'll tell you, the bay is alive. It's a beautiful day today on Tampa Bay. I want to thank everybody for showing up. Hope you enjoy the show. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know what we do next. Let's catch some fish. I just anchored and uh, I'm going to start chumming. I'm right near the bollards there. I'm going to throw out a bunch of chums. So right there, well, I'm close. Right there, just throwing out all that chum. Right here, throw out a little more. The tide's still going out, but uh, um, in the anchor, I just let the anchor out right here and gonna be casting in there so we'll have to play up by ear on on once that tide changes that'll be a significant factor so just wait for that and uh, i'm gonna give it a shot and uh, that's all you can do so let's catch some fish you know i got my i got my thunus 8000 uh, here on my Therese rod and i got my one ounce uh, jig right here i'm gonna put a pinfish on and i'm gonna cast it up anyways i'm gonna hook this guy like this right in the back part here put put them on right there just like that about a four foot leader and uh, look at him look at that lively guy right there <laughs> that's what you want right there i'm gonna toss him right out there tide's coming in but uh if i throw out my snapper jig it's gonna come right back in so i'm gonna try out with a pinfish and give it a give it a cast right here and just give it a flip out there right there i'm just gonna let it let it sink let him do his thing it's on a one ounce uh, jig looks like about a four out five out hook so we'll see what happens just the drag pretty good now oh, that pinfish is active i mean this is october that means that's grouper season whoa he's really active yeah this is my thunnus 8000 this is the live bait mount you can put it in it like that and you can just take the line out flip it like that and it's ready to go i really like this uh this type of reel shimano my fun is uh my fun I, I switched to my uh saltiga here i saw the dolphin but uh you know i want to try the saltiga here 
and I have a different uh, jig on there and I hooked them through the uh, pinfish through the mouth so uh, we're gonna give it a shot this tide has got to change the wind is whipping and the tide is going out so those are two two uh, negatives right there but uh, we got to keep trying active pinfish on there very active I'm gonna reel it in and cast out again here so uh, I'll show you how I have it just like this just like that I'm gonna cast him right out there so I'm just gonna you let the lever drag down like that and then it's free spool up like that in strike mode so just bring it up like that then I'm just gonna cast it out just like this keep your thumb lightly on there right like that just let it go out there let it sink let it go down to the bottom just let it go down to the bottom let the pinfish do his thing Yep, there he goes hits the bottom I have in strike mode just ready here you never know out here could be a cobia. I've had dolphin take the pinfish, grouper take it, mangrove snapper, flounder. You never really know. You just have to be ready though. A little bit, but I got my salt eager right here, uh, with my uh, Shimano PX, and I got uh, my one ounce. Uh, um, uh, I forgot what they call it, this kind of jig, but it's uh, kind of separate from it, and uh, with a circle hook 4 0. I'm going to cast it right here. And uh, I want to see if I can, uh, what we can get out of here. Cast it right there, just like that. Just let the line out, let it go to the bottom. And um, I'm trying for, uh, for a gag here. That's what I want to do. We'll see what happens. There it is. It's on the bottom. And put it in strike mode and just see what happens. Come on. Whoop. He's active. He doesn't want to be down there. I don't blame him. <laughs> Come on, guy. I like to leave the line a little bit slack like that. With the braid, you can really feel it. You can tell. You can feel it right through the through the line when when the when he's active. And when he's active, that means he's scared. <laughs> but you'll know it when you get a hit. Just let him take it. It's a circle hook on there. Oh, he's really active now. Come on, guy. Do your thing. Whoa, he's active. Man. He doesn't like what's down there. <laughs> you can't blame the guy. Come on. Yeah, I like the salt eagle lever drag. Really nice. Come on. Come on. Let's produce something. I like to, to flick it once in a while, twitch it like that. Keep him active. It actually teases the fish a little bit. If they're thinking about it, you want to change their mind. Have them go after it. Back on here, and I have my I have my other saltiga rod out here. So uh, and that pinfish let him do his thing. So I like to fish with two rods. Just give it a give it a toss out there. I'm gonna throw a little more throw a little more chum out here, just like that. This tide's getting ready to switch. Let's just see what happens. Put this guy on right here with the um, yellowtail snapper jig here. Nice little uh, greenbacks just. Just perfect size for the uh, for the mangroves, and uh, it's hard to cast into the wind, but uh, got to do what you got to do right there. You see how the line just swoops out that way. I just threw some chum out there. Throw a little more. The tide's ready to change. See that? Just I don't want to waste it all right now. Just see what happens. You never know. Got to try. I'm gonna flick out there and see what we can do. Just let it sink right down. Just let it sink. 15 pound test on my uh, twin power here. Let it sink, let it let it do its thing. I keep throwing out little bits of chum. We'll see what's we'll see what's gonna happen. Whoa! I missed them! Oh man, come on! I wasn't even ready. Can you believe it? Look at that! Hey, look at that! He's, look at that! Look at that guy! Uh, you got to put a fresh one on, man. He hit it hard. Let's let's get this guy. He's on here, man! I tell you. Let's get it in before these dolphins find these dolphin find it. So there it is. There's the first mangrove of the day right there. Nice, nice 12 incher. That's what he looks like. Man, look at that. Yep, oh, 11 and a half. I've caught enough of them. I can pretty much tell. But let's uh, let's get them over here to the check and stick anyway. Oh, hang on, guy. Hang on, active guy right here. I like getting out the check and stick right here just to make sure what we got. I like looking at them. I really, really admire these mangrove snapper here. Got them on that, um, got them on the yellowtail snapper jig. Look at that. Yeah, he's 12 inches. Yeah, very nice. And they're fat. Look at that. Nice, fat, beautiful mangroves. I tell you, just beautiful out here. And I told you my theory on them. Look how fat he is. 
that they really don't have a lot of competition out here. I mean, um, the, the, after the red tide, it seems like all the predator fish have uh, died off, and these guys are just gorging themselves. So look at it. He's a beautiful fish. Yeah, it's kind of windy today. I think I'm going to keep this guy. You know, um, because uh, that's the first fish of the day in here. What time is it right now? Now it's about eight o'clock. After eight o'clock, so uh, let's get another nice fish. Beautiful fish on. It's a snapper. It's a nice one too. I can tell. I can tell. Come on, guy. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, there he is. That's nice. Now that's a nice snapper right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice, yeah, he's about 12, 12 and a half, but beautiful looking fish. Look at that, man. Nice guy. Let's see if I can hold on to him without him jumping out of my hands. But man, look at that. Yeah, he's 12 inches. Yeah, that's about what they're running right now. You know, maybe the season's coming in, coming to an end in the summer here. The water temperature is 80 degrees. Beautiful looking fish, but let's get a measurement on him. I like to measure these guys. Come on, guy. Let's get over here. Come on. Let's get on the. Let's get on the check it stick. He's he's on there now, so hopefully he won't get off. You know how they're always jumping out of my hand. Come on, guy. Whoa. Hang on. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Little over, little over 12 inches long. Ah, nice, beautiful looking fish. Nice and fat. And, the, and this tide is really ripping now. It's, it, it turned really fast. And I've been chumming there. And, and they get out in the water column down here. And boom, they hit right there. But there he is. Nice looking fish right on that uh, yellow tail snapper jig. That's a four out hook. Yep, man, I tell you. Now, nah, maybe relegated to just getting 12 inches today, but uh, I'm happy with that. I mean, they're good eating, so um, let's get another. I'm right, by the columns here. And um, only got one over by the bollards, actually two in two different spots. So uh, just going to give it a shot here. Tides really turned around fast and really started ripping fast. I already chummed a little bit, so we'll see what happens here. Let it get down in the water column. Oh, there was a hit right there. Oh, there, this is a nice fish. I waited a while to get this guy. I just think it's a nice mangrove here. That's what I think it is. And there you go, and it is. And it's a really nice mangrove. Holy cow, let's get him in. Holy smoles, there you go. Now that's what we've been waiting for a long time for. Oh, he's only about 13 inches, but He's still a nice mangrove. I mean, and I tell you, it's it's been a hard fought day today. Whoa, come on, guy. Come on, guy. Well, the tide's starting to turn, and that's the reason because they come out when the tide turns. Look at that beautiful looking mangrove. Beautiful. Look at that guy. Yeah, that's really nice. Man, look at that beautiful mangrove snapper right there. Man, come on, hold your fins up there, guy. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful guy, come on, let's go measure him. Man, look at that, look at, look at it sticking right up. No, I thought he was 13, 12 and a half inches, but he's such, no, nah, just, yep. Man, he's such a good looking fish. Beautiful, man, I really take pride and passion in these mangrove snappers. <laughs> Actually all fishing, but these guys, man, nah, they're, so, they're so hard to catch, they're so quick. I mean, I, I've been getting hits all day long and just not getting them. And this is the third guy, but look at that. Man, beautiful. And I got him right out here. The tide is starting to change, so I'm going to get right at it. So uh, let's get another one. Right down here, the tide's still going in, but it's really getting slow. And that's when I got this guy, right at a tide change. I, I always say, fish the tide changes. Come on, guys. They start hitting you. You got a small window. <laughs> Lots of greenbacks down there. You can see them. There's there's schooling down there. Look at that, man! All those greenbacks. And that's what I'm using for bait. These little guys. Look at them all down there, man! Look at them all. Take it. I've been getting them right by that column there, getting the hits, and that's where I got that one. Just flip this guy right out there. Just let it sink in the water column, just like that. Let it go straight down. It's 30 feet deep right here. Just let it go down. Looks like this tide change and they're turning on. Got a short window. Got to take advantage of it. Come on. You know you want it. 
I can hear that one bouncing around in the cooler that I just caught. Come on. Take it. Don't just hit it. Run with it. Just keep giving it line and let it uh, go into the water column there. See, the other greenbacks are at the surface, and th this one here is down at the bottom, and uh, that's where they're feeding, so looks like an easy meal for them. That's the idea. Oh, oh there's one right there. Come on. Got him. Oh, oh, I missed him. Oh, come on. Oh, look at it. Cut off. I got cut off. I wonder what that was. Look at that. Right down here is where I have my line cut off. I don't know what that is. Maybe it was a mackerel. You can never tell. Maybe the line was frayed there. Hit like a mangrove though. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Take it. Mangrove on here now. Man, I tell you. This is a nice one. Oh, we got off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I hate when that happens. But, well, you know what, man? I should have gave him a little more drag, but uh, he was a nice one. Well, let's try for another. One right here. That was a nice one. I bet he was a good 14, 15 inches. I can tell. I've caught enough of the guys. But I've got this is this is where I've gotten a lot of the bigger ones. So I hate losing a fish like that. I should have given them drag. Should have played them a little more. They got a real tender mouth. Let's see if we can get another one. You got a short window to take advantage of it. I hate to lose them. Come on. Man, he didn't really hit, he kind of ran with it, and then he hit. And a nice one here. Let's hopefully I can get this guy up. Oh, he's, he's on the bottom here, hold it. Oh, he's he's still on there. Oh, oh, there he comes. Okay, come on, come on up, guy. Got to get him up, got to get him up. I wonder if it's a gag. I wonder if it's a gag, let's see. It's just a big old mangrove. Whoa, there you go. That's a nice guy. That's what we're after right there. Big mangrove snapper, that's a nice guy. <laughs> Man, I tell you. Oh, he went, he took me right into the rocks down there, this guy did. Let's let's get a measure on this guy. Man, I could have I could have had that other one. I would have had my limit. Whoa! Oh man, look at this. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful looking fish. Look at that guy. Man, I tell you, look at that. Man, you know, look at that, he's almost 13, oh, he's 13 and a half. Man, that's that's one nice looking fish. Man, I tell you, that's a good looking fish. Got him right on that uh, yellowtail snapper jig. Look at that, right there. Man, right, right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna try for another one, but man, look at that. What a beautiful looking fish. Man, I love these guys. Man, they're, they're such a challenge to catch them, but they're, they're, they're fun to catch, they're good to eat, and they're, what a great fight. Man, I really admire these guys. Well, let's get another one. A little bit smaller ones on, because it's really taking the weight down. And I just got that one 13 and a half incher here, and um, the tide changed right here, and I'm just dropping it straight down here, just like this, and they're, and they're kind of running with it. They're not really slamming it, they're kind of moving the line, moving the line, I'm letting them take it, and that, then, I, then I set the hook on them. But that's what they're doing. Well, we had another hard fought day today. <laughs> Seems to be having a lot more of those hard fought days, you know. But uh, it's all about fishing and having fun, and that's what I did today. I didn't even think I'd get out. I was at the ramp, and I could hear my poles. They were, they were whistling at the boat ramp here in, in the wind, and they are now. But, uh, you know, it's always great to get out on Tampa Bay, whether you catch fish or not. It was a beautiful day here, other than the wind, but uh, didn't do too bad. The mangrove, man, I tell you what, they were really finicky. They'd hit it once, and then they kill it, and then and then the tide was really ripping. But anyways, we got uh, four nice mangroves. I, I lost a nice one, I know it. You got that on film, too. But uh, anyways, here we go. It's not bad. I mean, you got 12 and a half right there, uh, 13 and a half. I'm pretty pleased with that. My wife told me, uh, she said, stay out. I said, I only got two. I'm tired. I want to come in. She goes, no, get more. She's always saying that. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the show and hope you enjoyed the video. I always have a good time making them too. So any comments you got, let me know. Give me a thumbs up for a like. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Until next time, happy fishing.